Hi guys, today I'm going to do a lesson talking about the light sensor and how to program it in M-Block. So, you need to get your M-Block, sorry, get your m -Bot, um, have it turned on, connect it up to your computer via USB um, and open the M-Block software. So once you've got the M-Block software opened up, you need to make sure that the correct board is selected, so you need M-Bot M-Core you need to connect in the software. So I'm connected serial port COM3. It might be a different port for you. Okay, so here it is. So light sensor, and there's a few different options. There's light sensor on board, or port three, or port four. Um, so for this lesson, we're gonna be using the light sensor on board. So I'm gonna leave that selected. Now, I'm gonna write a program which says if the light, if there's a lot of light shining on the M-Bot, then play a note. So, I need an if block. So in the control scripts, the fourth block is if, and then there's a space, then, and there's another space. So we're gonna say, if there's a lot of light, then play a sound. So I need an operator to say if there's a lot of light. Well, what is a lot of light? The light sensor returns a value between zero, which means it's that there's no light, it's very dark, to 1023, which means there's a huge amount of light on there. So let's say uh, anything above, say, 600 means it's, it's light. So I need to go into the operators and find a place where it says greater than. So this is that block. And plug it into the space on the condition of the if statement. Now I want to say if the light sensor or if the value returned from the light sensor, so I plug this block in, is greater than 600, then, and I want to play a tone. So I'll play tone on note C4. Now, if I run this block now, it will just do this one time. So if I play it now. Okay, so it came in and it said, is the light sensor uh, getting a value of more than 600? And at that moment it was, so it played the note. If I put my hand over and press it again, there's no sound because no light is on the um, is on the sensor. But what I can do to make it constantly check the light sensor and turn the sound on or turn the sound off according to whether there is light or not on the sound sensor, I can put it in a block. So I can put it in this forever block. Now it will constantly update the value. So if I press run again. Okay, so it's constantly playing the value over, and, sorry, it's constantly playing a note over and over again because there's a lot of light on there. If I put my hand over, then the sound stops. Okay, so that's, um, that's how to program in M-Block using the light sensor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Construct your dreams.